In this video, we're going to look at the Host Process Explorer inside PowerShell Pro Tools for Visual Studio Code. To access the Host Process Explorer, what you can do is you can click the uh, PowerShell Pro Tools Activity pane on the left-hand side here. That's going to bring up uh, our, our tool list, and if we actually expand the Host Processes um, node here, you'll see that I have PowerShell Processes listed. Uh, if I expand that, you'll see that I have the run spaces that are currently available inside that process listed. So this uh, 11512 is the current um, PowerShell process that is inside Visual Studio Code. As you can see down here, the PID is the same. If I were to open another PowerShell process and do the same thing where I type out the PID, uh, you'll see that I have 4192. So what I can do there then is click this little refresh button and it's gonna uh, discover that new PowerShell process that is running. Uh, if I expand this, you'll see that it also has the run space information. If I come over to my uh, PowerShell process here, what I can actually do is start a run space in the background and wait for the debugger to attach. So I am going to run this start thread job. So that's gonna create a background run space. From there, I'm gonna call wait debugger and I'm gonna set a variable to just test, which doesn't exist. If I hit enter, you're gonna see that it's actually um, running this job in the background. It says not started, but it actually is running now and it will be waiting for that debugger. If we run get run space, you'll see that it's currently in breakpoint and waiting for the debugger to attach. So what you can actually do in PowerShell Pro Tools is if we refresh this, we're gonna see that background run space pop up. So that's the one that's currently uh, waiting um, on the debugger, which you can see here, run space three. If I click this button here, which is attach to or attach run space, is actually going to attach to that background run space inside that other PowerShell process. As you can see up here, here's the script that I'm currently running inside that thread job. On the bottom, the terminal uh, kind of prompt has changed to state that we're in debug mode. Uh, the process is currently 4192 and we're in run space three. So I can actually you know, verify that by running commands directly inside this particular um, this particular process. And what's kind of cool is things like uh, the variables and everything like that are actually um, the variables for that process and not for uh, your current process. So I think if we look in global, we should be able to see the PID. I guess I don't know where that is, but um, these are actually the um, variables for that remote process rather than for, um, for the uh, PowerShell extension process. So uh, what we could do is we could step through this code. We could also click continue, just continue running it. And at that point, if we actually go back here and call get run space, you can see that, um, well, let's detach here actually. You'll see that we're down to one run space because um, the thread job has finished and we're no longer attached to that process. So in this video, we looked at how you can use the um, PowerShell Pro Tools Host Process Explorer to uh, um, attach to external processes run spaces and debug them directly in Visual Studio Code.